the little baby's been dotted, he's very weak. We need to make sure he gets enough milk. We expect a minus two, minus three tonight. Oh, come, 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 come. What a privilege. Hulle weet nie van enige probleme in Pieter Maritsburg en dat taal goed wat brand nie. Wat een beter manier om positief te blij is om in die ochende te kom kyk hoe die diere eet en deel. Die heren is natuur geniet wat een voorrecht om met Godse skepping te kan werk. So nou een klein kalfie peil. A small calf that uh, the mother is really old and with the cold temperatures um, we need to dart them and put them together and feed her make sure she has enough milk because he's uh, he's looking really skinny and a bit weak Protecting this young one no, from the wind. baby's been dotted, he's very weak. We need to make sure he gets enough milk. We expect a minus two, minus three tonight. And then after this we'll do the mother. Put them together, feed the mother, make sure she has sufficient milk. Otherwise we'll put her on Bretta, our Jersey cow, and make sure she makes it. Amazing how they protect her. Walks around her. They protect her from the wind. Definitely sense that there's something wrong, he's too weak and he won't make it if they don't want to. So we put out some lick, some phosphate, calcium, minerals just to keep their condition good. Utilize the grazing maximum. And I uh, only gave about a quarter of a thionyl, it's a really low dose, and he's already showing signs. You'll see him hopping around down within a couple of seconds now on this weak, weak, weak shine. He's down, we're going to reverse him immediately and then hold on to him. So now we're moving into number eight. Yeah, car number eight is the mother. We saw them uh, drinking there yesterday. These animals are all nice and healthy. They're walking in a 1,700 hectare area and we just supplement them with a little bit of lick and mineral block. We don't give any extra feed because we had a good rain season. And you can see how easy the management is um, because they're used to this area. We hear every day with guests showing on the game drives. So they're really nice and calm and you can see that cow is beginning to slow down. It also gave her a quite a low dose because she is quite old. She might be close to nine years, eight, nine years old. Probably no more teeth in the mouth. Um, even though we don't use the teeth to judge the age anymore because we've noticed in the large areas of the Northern Cape, especially where you have the quick grass, your sand quick of kittleblad, you often get the teeth weighing down 
even from five, six years of age, they, they're almost worn down into the gums. So, a lot of times, it's, it's not accurate at all to use the teeth as a, as a measurement of age. I've seen cows in Borsifeld where they get supplemented, or in some of the other provinces where they have small camps and supplement them daily, where their teeth look like youngsters even at nine years of age. So a lot of discrepancies on the, on, the, on the judgment of age on the teeth. But she is tagged, so we have a record of her. So we'll check the records and know exactly what she's been attacked the birth was. You can see she's saying good signs now. It's about four minutes now, so she'll probably drop it in the next couple of seconds. Um, what what was the dose that you that you gave her? Oh, sorry? Two final and twenty is apron, and you can see there she's going down nicely, very calm, and then below her, and update you as soon as she they together. She's a really old lady, beautiful set of horns, but as you can see, compaxi van die river hier onder, the posts that they talk about, the yellow horns. That's got a for me. Probably has no more teeth left. Maar op haar mond, wat dat tongetje weg. You can see no more teeth left. She's an old lady. Still have some molars. I think sizes in the front are gone. So, do you still um, have the passion and the joy for saving young sable, even though you've probably bred and sold over 300? Shame, man. He's so good. You can't do anything but take him to a pen and get his mother to increase her milk production, feed her well, and this little dog might survive. But he won't survive. There's a cold spell on the way. It's forecasting minus five, which is very cold for a little bloke that hasn't got good condition. Mother's milk production is down. I think it's important that we get him into a nice shelter under an infrared lamp and to get his mother to feed her well so she and they're strong even though they're a little bit weak, they're still quite strong, you have to keep no, up no, to them. I just must let him go now because I woke him Yeah, <laughs> so the, 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 the tranquilizing dart won't work again, she, he's been reversed. I thought it was a female but I see it's a little bull calf. And the guys are going to load the cow now. They have a mattress there. A lot of guys don't use mattresses but animals can injure themselves, can kick. They can actually get nerve damage on their legs if they don't lie nice and, nice and softly. So we always use a mattress to make sure we, we have them lying down nice and softly. Keep her upright. We try and keep them sternly. We have only four guys helping today, but keep her nice and sternly. Head up, nose down. The saliva can run out. And uh, we're going to check now. She still has good milk, but we'll feed her a very good ration concentrate to make sure we get the milk. Okay, little calf, little bull calf. Joining the mother, she's got a blind eye, she was hurt when she was young, but now she'll be fine. We're quickly treating them for some external parasites, internal parasites, maybe some extra copper, cobalt, selenium injection. I'm going to vaccinate them, deworm them, and then we've got a nice infrared light up there. I get it off of him. Infrared light for the cold nights. He's a little bit skinny, but he, he should be fine now with his mom. We just want to measure, so she looks like about 33, maybe just over. Let's just measure and make sure what she measures, because she's a beautiful cow. Thirty-three and three quarter. Sure, that's beautiful. Any sable over 30 is, is nice. So this is a beautiful cow, good symmetry. So it might just be an amazing little bull calf. He is born from Tomatelu Junior, which is a 
Tomatelu's son and a grandson of Pete, which was, who was over 53 and 3 eighths. So a special line, so it's definitely worthwhile making sure we can save this, this young guy and he might be a potential great breeding bull. Hello baby, what are you going to do Mark? What can we call you? Huh? Natural instinct, even at this young age, Luke wants to fight, he wants to fight. <laughs> He's so weak. So she's been reversed now, treated, and she'll come by. You'll see she's lifting her head already. There she's getting up. I'm all eight. Minka. Minka, come eight. Come, come, come. The trainee vet. <laughs> she's going to get up now and hopefully the. The little calf start drinking, he might be a little bit thirsty. What a privilege to work with my dad and children. Vet in training. Minka, how are you doing? What is that calfie's name? What are we going to Andrew. Yes, Andrew. Why is that stuff in your ear with that brill in your mouth? Yes, no. Nog steeds bikkie. Papa, stiek toch mooi in my. Kijk, hang hem op die lanaai, ons gaan nou rij. Papa, nooit kan stiek toch mooi in my. She'll immediately protect a youngster. Bring the food quicker so she can eat, eh? so your milk can produce. She can get more milk. Come on, let me up, Stormy. I know. Let me get out. Is that your own mom? Yes, I hope. Is that your own mom? Yes, it's my own mom. Why can I sit down? Watch, watch, watch. Look, look, look. He's by him to wash. Hey Bobby, you need to get some drink. You need to wash this. Mother instincts, even though she's just coming out of out of the hospital, <laughs> the mother mother instincts already at work.